To me is a, an art form, juggling with the soccer ball, do different skills, perform different tricks. I've been freestyling for around seven years. I got interested in freestyling when I was over in England at a Brazilian soccer school training. I saw John Farmworth do some skills and I was blown away by what he could do. I guess the hardest part about freestyling is trying to learn to master certain moves. I mean, some of them are harder than others and I'm still learning how to do different ones. There's always new skills out there, and there's always new things you can do. People are always like pushing the boundaries of the sport, so there's always new stuff to try and like do. It's incredible to be at this level. I mean, I just love being able to travel the world and meet different people. If I wasn't doing soccer freestyling, I would probably be trying some other sport, maybe longboarding or surfing or snowboarding, something like that. I will eat anything and everything. I love food. I don't have the best diet, though. <laughs> I love Wendy's, I love Krispy Kreme. Taco Bell, those are my favorites, so I'll eat any of those. Yeah, freestyling for me is very therapeutical, um, and so I'll, like once I start, I kind of get in the zone. It's as if no one else is around. I'm aware of people around, but it doesn't really bother me. I definitely get nervous before every performance, but like once I step out and wherever I'm doing it and start, those like kind of like, butterflies and like, all the nerves go away. I listen to like really like mellow music. More like Voice Avenue and like Parachute, Joe Brooks, like those type of guys. I want to keep pushing the boundaries of the sport and see kind of what tricks and stuff I can come up with. I want to continue to inspire people and push freestyle as a sport into the world. My parents have been, and my sister have been a great inspiration for me and a great role model. For anyone pursuing a dream, just believe in yourself. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something, especially yourself, because people can get down on themselves.